We have seen some eye-popping lottery jackpots lately, and while it does seem like a good thing, more money does sometimes lead to more problems. And so joining us to talk about this is Gary Matson and Laurel Stewart, the father-daughter team from Matson Financial Services, the sponsor of this segment. They're a financial firm that's been helping people retire successfully here in West Michigan for decades. And so a lot of people have probably dreamed of what I'm gonna do if I hit the jackpot, but sometimes there's not always a happy ending and more money is not always a good thing. Yeah, it can really throw people's lives into disarray. Mm -hmm. um, some people, you know, that they even when they have that winnings that they 401k or the retirement plan or pension, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden they take it out in lump sum, we've seen them think that, okay, now I can be Santa Claus. I can spend it and do anything I want to. And there's always finite. I don't care who you are, you know, whether you're Donald Trump, uh, former president, a billionaire, or somebody winning a local lotto, there is an end to the rainbow and you can spend it all. In fact, there's a statistic out there that uh, about 68 or 78 percent of people that win the lotto actually end up bankrupt within five years. Incredible. Wow. Okay, so we sometimes talk about 401k millionaires or people that have managed to save a lot of money. Can you also relate that in retirement to having all of a sudden that big chunk of change there that might be more at your disposal? Yeah, I think it can be overwhelming because you're so used to just putting your money away into your accounts and you have your money coming in as your paycheck. So you're not necessarily looking at your statement. It's just something in the future that you have. So now you retire, you have this, you know, million yeah. dollars or so and you're like, okay, well, what can we do with this? And that's why it comes down to very careful planning to make sure you understand what does that monthly income flow look like for you? Mm -hmm. You know, we can talk about social security, maybe a pension if you're fortunate to have that, mm -hmm. but then how do we layer in your investments so you're not taking large chunks over time, paying high taxes, and then you get to keep that money growing for you. Sure, there are a lot of different things that we need to worry about because there's factors that we can't control. Mm -hmm. One of them being the market. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. We wish we could. And the attitude, you know, it's one of those things that says that I never had this much money before, but it's still got to produce an income. Mm -hmm. And so we always like to have it when people are making more money in retirement than they did working. That's a great position to be in. Mm -hmm. But you still have to watch out, like Laura said, the taxes, the markets, those type of things. And we have clients that actually done very, very well, but they feel like they need permission to do certain things. Mm -hmm. So when we put together an income plan and show them it's okay to do that, then they both kind of relax and understand that they're going to have that stress-free retirement and they can do their dreams, their goals, their desires. But sometimes they need that permission because otherwise, you know, what happens if something happens in the future? And that what if, that little word in the dictionary, mm -hmm. can mean so many different things to different people. Sure. And what other issues do you see with successful savers? I have to think that the sneaky factor in all that is taxes. It's not a little sneaky, it's huge. <laughs> yes, exactly. You know, let's face it, if you want a half a million dollars today, $500,000, mm -hmm. you're going to probably wipe out about 40% of that to taxes. So when you're doing your list of your lotto and you're going to win that big number, don't forget the tax man's going to take the first big bite. And that's what you have then is what's left over. So again, what can we control? We can't control the market, but we can control the taxes we pay with proper planning. Okay, so let's talk about that. What we can do ahead of time in planning for all those costs that we may or may not really realize we'll have. Yes, and so what we do is we put together this plan, and like we talked about taking you know, in consideration all these different income sources and yeah. layering that in, but looking into the future, because you want this money to still grow for you. So we want to make sure that you have what you need to today, but also what does that look like in the future? And you don't have those incidental beneficiaries that you didn't intend for. Mm -hmm. Like uh, you're taking so much money out, you now have new Medicare tax mm -hmm. or Social Security yeah. tax or even health insurance. I mean, people say, well, I've got this health insurance and I know my number, but all of a sudden they're taking more income. Well, your Medicare costs are actually going to go up because of that. Yeah, and so it's good to hear that the, a lot of people are good savers because that's important yes. to everybody, but we're probably not going to win the lottery. So are there some good habits that we can learn from those savers that would benefit all of us, especially as we all enter that retirement planning time or retirement mm -hmm. itself. Yeah, so if you're not quite in that retirement place yet and you're looking obviously to get there, you know, taking advantage and putting money away into your 401ks, especially during tumultuous times when you're looking at volatility, you're thinking, should I take everything out and go to cash? 
well, now we get to talk about dollar cost averaging, right? You're putting money in when markets are low, sometimes mm -hmm. they're high, but overall it evens out. So continuing that because you're still getting that free match from your employer and that's free money. Yeah. Okay. And so are there first steps that someone can take when they talk to your team and, and get a firm plan together and, and filling those different buckets that we always talk about. Yep, so we actually put together a checklist of items to start gathering to bring in with you, but we're going to look at, you know, what do you have in your 401k or your mm -hmm. IRAs, that qualified side of things, what about Roth and all these other different areas. So before you go make a whole bunch of different changes, if you're one of the first five callers, um, if you've saved $250,000 or more for retirement and you're looking to get retired, uh, this is where you just call in, we'll schedule a time for you to meet with one of our advisors. It will send you that checklist and you can throw everything together and bring it on in. Yeah, that sounds good. So for you at home, you're looking to be a better saver and uh, take advantage of that special offer from Matson Financial. If you are retiring or already retired, Gary, Laurel, and the rest of the team will sit down with you personally to customize a retirement plan just for you. This is a comprehensive plan that includes a look at taxes, investments, and your income sources, and so much more to help you get to and through that retirement that you deserve. Call now, 616-514-3831. That's 616-514-3831. And so, Gary and Laurel, thank you so much for talking about this. Wow, we hope everyone wins the lottery. Absolutely. We're glad that you're there to help us plan, you know, if that isn't the case. Thank you very much <laughs> for having us. It's yes. been our pleasure. Yeah. And this segment is sponsored by Matson Financial Services. We'll be right back with more at West. Don't go away.